Welcome back to Fire to Fork. Today we are doing a recipe known as Mrs. Jang's Eggs. Now I'm going to do my own take on it, um, and it was one that was introduced to me by my mum. Uh, it's basically, I, I don't think there's a single person in my family or a single person who's tried these eggs that don't absolutely love them. It's also uh, a recipe that can, you can easily make vegan, gluten-free, whatever. Um, you just change out the oyster sauce for a, a vegan oyster sauce. Uh, it is a vegetarian, again, if you know, ignore the oyster sauce, it's a vegetarian dish. My wife's actually celiac, so you'll find a lot of my recipes are gluten-free already. Anyway, let's get to it. To start with, you can do this on toast, but I actually prefer to do this um, on a potato hash. So, what do you need? A potato, a grater. <laughs> uh, funny, fun story. I forgot my little grater and I just drove an hour and a half into town to go and get this grater. Or buy this grater to do this video. This bloody hash better be good. All right, there's my thing of potatoes. Now what you want to do is squeeze the moisture out of this. So. Don't initially do it in a tea towel or anything, you can just squeeze it with your hands. <coughs> Otherwise you'll drench the tea towel or paper towels or whatever you're using straight away. There's so much moisture that comes out of that. Grab a clean tea towel, chuck it in. Uh, you can actually buy I haven't seen it in Australia, but I know that in the US you can definitely get like f dried or frozen or something potato hash that you can just chuck in. Uh, sounds like a really good option for camping. I just you can't really get it in Australia. And this is not that hard. So you s twist it, get all the moisture out, rip your tea towel a little bit because it's old. All right. That is ready to go in a fry pan. So, use a little non-stick fry pan, a little bit of oil. Sorry, slippery hands. Um, this is rice bran oil. You just want a flavorless oil. Uh, so not olive oil. You could use butter, but again, uh, Asian dish, you probably just, you probably want to use a flavorless oil. Okay, spread that around a little bit. Get your hash. And just layer it on half the pan. This will keep everyone happy on the internet. Tea towel, wet tea towel, under the breadboard. Um, bit of salt. Touch of pepper. And you want to sort of, you want to push this in and get it quite, um, tight if you like, boyfriend, um, get it quite tight because that uh, will mean it's easier to flip later on. <laughs> Fred's just made himself a little bed, I'll show you. Enjoying yourself, Fred? Good. Let's get this over to the fire. Cool, chuck that on. You want it on uh, probably a medium high heat to crisp up that hash. And we'll leave that, you don't want to flip it regularly. You want it to um, get brown underneath and then flip it. Because um, if it's if you flip it too early, it'll just be little bits of potato, it'll go everywhere and you won't get that nice crust on the bottom of the hash. While we're waiting for that to crisp up, I'm just gonna prep my other ingredients. This is an essential ingredient, Colonial IPA. Just make sure it's still okay. Yep, yep, still 
bloody delicious. Now, I've got some spring onion from my garden, which has been in here for like a week, and it's still good. It's a good thing about picking things from your own garden. And a chili. I carry one of these uh, crash pad things. It's like a mesh bag. Um, and the reason I carry that is to put all my fresh ingredients in, only because otherwise I find that like lots of little plastic bags or whatever, just a pain in the ass. Um, things go everywhere and it's really hard to keep track of things. This breathes, uh, if does, something does spill, it's very easy to clean out. Uh, and I actually take them to the supermarket. Okay, the end of that. Spring onion off, or green onion, or scallion, or whatever you call them in your part of the world. That's plenty. And a bit of chili. You don't have to add chili, of course. If you don't like chili, don't add chili. And you don't have to use fresh chili. You can actually just use um, some sriracha or something. In fact, sriracha is really, really, really good on these. And that's it. Um, it's all after prep. So I might go and sit down by the fire and enjoy myself for a few minutes while I cook, while these things cook. Oh, that's browning in the corners nicely. I should really get myself a um, plastic one of these so I don't keep ruining my stainless uh, non-stick pan, but you know, do as I say, not as I do. I'm gonna get some welding gloves too, it's really hot. Okay. This has been on for probably two minutes. So not very long at all. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. I'm not usually that good at doing hash. I'm very happy with that. Now, that's not going to take long. In fact, it's going to take about as long as a couple of eggs to fry. So, my hot plate is on a slight downhill, or well, slight angle. So what I want to do is put the oil in the downhill bit. And drop a couple of eggs in there. Sorry to interrupt this episode, but just thought I'd say, my Perth hometown people, uh, I'm going to be at the Full Drive and Adventure Show from the 5th to the 7th of November, so that means free food, that means come check out the Prado, come check out the trailer, might even be a little guest appearance from my old mate Fred. There'll be merch for sale, there'll be books, book signings, books for sale, if we've got any stock left. Um, but yeah, should be, a good, should be a good day. It's always a good, fun, relaxed thing. Ronnie's there, Sam's there, a whole bunch of other YouTubers are there, Salty and, you know, good people. Um, but yeah, see you there. Oh, it's looking really good. That's probably got a minute to go. Yep, we're on. Okay, Whew. this is looking just perfect. Look at that, brown on both sides. Oh. I couldn't be happier about this. Runny yolk, some people hate runny yolks. It's crazy to me, adds all the flavor. Okay, so we've got a couple of layers of hash there, a couple of eggs. Now, fresh ingredients, so we want a bit of a garnish of spring onion, a bit of a garnish of chili, and then the key is oyster sauce. Now, 
people get weird about oyster sauce. It doesn't taste like oysters. It is sweet and salty and it has, I'm not gonna tell you how it's made because it'll freak you out even more. It's technically fermented oysters. But in the same way that, you know, beer is fermented barley, it doesn't taste anything like that. It's, it's kind of like a soy sauce um, thing, but a sweet soy sauce and it's absolutely delicious. And it makes this meal. So a little bit of oyster sauce drizzled around. Now I like to finish it off with some fried shallots. Wait, bugger off fly. Fried shallots and a few sesame seeds. And I think that is ready for some gratuitous B-roll. Let's do it. Okay, let's try this. A runny egg, oh yes. That's so good. I love that. It's just, it's not even like an old, favorite that we've had in our family for ever. It's quite new, the last sort of four years. But Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, what do you ask for in bed? You ask for Mrs. Zhang's. That's what we've been doing at home. And it's, they're that good. Not bacon eggs, not full English, not anything like that. Mrs. Zhang's. Mmm. Well done, Mrs. Jang. Oh, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. I'm going to nail this. Mmm. <laughs> Fell straight out of my mouth.